Welcome to Cars and Deals. Today I'm very excited to talk about the new 2024 new generation of E-Class. It's right behind me. I'm going to review it for you and I'm going to give you monthly payments on lease and finance in the end of this video so you know if you can afford it. All right, guys, they literally dropped off this car a few hours ago and I just got a chance to look at it and I haven't had a chance to really look at it by myself and got myself ready get myself ready for this review before I talk about this car with you but I wanted to post this on my channel as fast as I can it's getting dark so let's look at these cars you can see that it's not an actual body of the car this is just the cover and first I got excited I thought that maybe Mercedes-Benz now has just like before the um, uh, Mercedes-Benz emblem on top of the hood maybe it will be as an option that's why they did that kind of universal cover for all of the E-classes and right here is not an E-class I just wanted to show you kind of basic E-class that price of this one it's also 24 uh, 66 I actually gonna do a little bonus for you in the end of the video I'm gonna show you on this $72,000 uh, E-class the payment and I'm gonna show you the payment on this more basic E-class right here in black on black you can see that the wheels are smaller here and it looks more basic because of that and here is a um, more well equipped car uh, seventy two thousand dollars with premium package and we're gonna look inside of the car as well so let me walk around the car and show you uh, exterior first so completely completely redesigned the last redesign of e-class was back in 2017 so it's all new platform and I think it's a really nice car let's take a look at the front we have some that we saw on AMG GLE uh, not the AMG GLE but a uh, GLE with the AMG body style package this wide grille with star Mercedes-Benz star pattern here we have nice looking rims with AMG emblem here so these are bigger rims and let's take a look here it says $72,000 it's got driver assist package AMG rims and looks like you don't have to opt in for AMG body style package to get the AMG rims anymore on the side we have these door handles just like doesn't open am i reviewing the wrong car guys i'm sorry i'm <laughs> they're the same cars absolutely the same cars so that's how you open it if you have the key fob you just saw that it did not open because i didn't have a key fob on me so kind of same thing that we see in electric cars right now in s class so this car just got delivered and I really want to get inside because I didn't see it didn't see it yet but we'll get there let's get you as promised the exterior of the car so this car has panorama and looks like they all do have panorama I didn't see it on the option list that's the back of the car and we can see that all this area is the part of the tail lights here which is pretty cool parking sensors and uh, we saw it on the truck first when the truck delivered these cars we thought it's an s-class and i identified it uh really quick as an e-class but it kind of gives it masculine look from the back with this wide exhaust uh here and uh rear bumper i really like the back they're all for medic now so no rear wheel drive or front wheel drive let's look at the trunk so you have these buttons here they will fold the seats in the back and let's take a look here do we have spare tire we don't have a spare tire so those are and these buttons they've been with Mercedes-Benz for 25 years right I'm sure you can open and close it with kick under bumper maybe not I think I do it right now well uh, again this car just arrived sometimes we don't activate 
the, the, sometimes some features are not activated fully before it goes through service. Let's take a look at the back. We have MB Tex material, so it's not actual leather. It's a fake leather, leather red. MB Tex is durable material, not as soft and nice as leather, but it doesn't get damaged and worn as fast as well. So pretty much the same room. I wouldn't say it's a lot of room. The seats are kind of all the way in the back. So I wouldn't say it's a big advantage over previous generation of E-Class uh, with the room in the back. We have nice ambient lights, a Burmeister sound system here. Now let's take a look at the speaker, uh, not the uh, sticker, not speaker. Again, I'm reviewing it kind of live with you. So it looks like driver assist package, like adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, not standard. But panorama is standard, which is nice. Navigation is standard with free one-year updates, heated front seats standard. It's a mild hybrid engine, guys, so fuel efficiency is pretty good, but not that much better than previous generation 33 on highway, 27 combined 24 in the city. So not terribly great fuel efficiency, but not bad for the size of the car. We see an option of cooling seat here and just like on other newer Mercedes-Benz these are not actual buttons these are kind of sensor buttons so you push the car uh, push the button but it doesn't the button doesn't move but the seat moves all right I see this wood trim with this kind of pattern for the first time so it makes it look very natural I like it I like the matte finish wood and Let's take a look inside. Let's start this car. And it's completely new platform for E-Class and not only E-Class, for Mercedes-Benz in general. This screen, we, oh my God, we're gonna do it eventually. So don't blame it on me that I took away the pleasure from the first owner. We do it before we put it on the lot. Technician, when they do the initial inspection, takes it off, peels it off. So we have this screen that is wide and it's unique for this model. And I love it. Obviously we have the newest MBUX, MBUX uh, software. And this looks like, what is it? Uh, like Apple Maps pattern, but uh, you know this um, navigation symbol? I've never seen it before. Uh, it responds pretty quick. I know that we got some apps that we never had before. Uh, why they're not showing up here? Not sure. But maybe when we activate the Mercedes Me app. Oh my God, a bunch of new stuff I've never I've never seen this. It's got six miles steering wheel that we saw on other models before, you know, with all these sensors. And this instrument cluster looks a little different too. You know, I love this new display. This uh, overhead console looks kind of the same. And they didn't change the uh, they changed the button here, but they didn't change the panorama. It still has the thing in the bar in the middle, so it's not whole panorama roof, you know, like on a GLE, which is surprising to me. They kind of had this type of panorama since 2010. I have a 2010 E-Class myself which I love. And one of the reasons is that uh, Mercedes-Benz logo, that you can, by the way, you can install it. If you love that logo, you can, you can uh, replace the um, uh, Mercedes logo on the hood by Biden parts and um, install it on your hood if you like that classy Mercedes-Benz logo um, on top of your hood. 
Okay, I'm very excited to put it in Sport, not Sport Plus, and see how it drives. I don't want to push it because. Okay. Okay, so there is a, a little bit better pickup. Uh, you can obviously still feel that it's a four cylinder. Um, and I'm not a big fan of it. Obviously, when previous generation E450, when you drive it, you love the luxurious ride, premium feel of that. You don't get it with four cylinder no matter what, what you know they they try hard with the um, mild hybrid technology they trying to meet not only their um, requirements mercedes-benz but government requirements because uh, they're pushing them for better fuel efficiency and uh, environment regulation stuff like that so they're going smaller and smaller and um, the whole industry does that so you know if even if you have four cylinder engine in, in heavier car GLE or if we're not talking about Mercedes-Benz I was surprised to find out from my friend he has Land Rover Defender huge off-road car right and it has a four cylinder oh my god where are we going with these four cylinders but it is what it is it's part of the game that not only Mercedes-Benz plays but everyone else out there but let's stop for a second. Obviously, we have self park assist, which we had before. I would love to play a little bit more with these settings. I see that the interface is a little bit different than other uh, than the previous, um, obviously, generation or even other Mercedes-Benz models. I, I never seen this kind of look of the settings and um, okay. Welcome to Vivaldi. There was something pretty cool that I was reading about it. Um, and I think this might be it. Okay, well, it looks like it's just a browser. And there is some kind of community. And I'm sorry again for not being prepared, but I, like I said, I did want to show you the car before. This is new. I've never seen this kind of menu. So in general, it drives about the same, maybe a little quieter, better pickup than previous generation, but not a huge, huge difference. Just my first impression, you know. Um, I love the interior look. I like the drive. Unfortunately, this function can't be... Okay, well, didn't ask you, I'm sorry. Let's see. Let's see how the self park assist works because before it has to go off other objects. Uh, it has to scan the space and we can see that it didn't catch it. Okay, well, you have to pass this space. Start, so that's new. Okay. Okay, so let's be fair, I did find it. Oh my god it's oh my god it's moving so close so close you know there was okay i guess i finished showing you but there was one time oh my god it's getting so close and then they're gonna blame me oh my god then they're gonna blame me because it says be ready to break <laughs> but there was a time i guess i got I'm still freaking out because there was a 2017 GLS that my customer was experiencing with the uh, the how the self park assist works, and it hit another car. Can you imagine it hit another car? And it was a customer's car, and I walked in, all guilty that it was my fault because that 17 GLS self park assist was supposedly doing only the parallel parking, but it was perpendicular parking. It hit another car, and I was like. To tell them to the managers, hey, I just my customer just hit another car. It's, it looks like it's customer's car, and he's like, no problem, we just took that car on trade, and uh, I was the happiest uh, person ever. But after that, to be honest, I was doing the self park assist, and every time I freak out when it does it, but it never hit another car. But it does get pretty freaking close to those cars. All right, guys, 
so that's just a quick quick overview look at this dash it looks very modern and um, I guess simplistic you know kind of futuristic I love the ambient lights obviously it's a newer generation of ambient lights I think I missed a lot of things I didn't show you a lot of things let's go through the menu it looks just like previous um, here it takes pictures and uploads it to your phone you gotta opt in for this but the camera isn't working at the moment okay that's good to know let's check it out are you lying oh that was a lie it works by the way not the best parking job but it, i guess it was confu confused by that that golf cart guys let's take a look at the uh, payments and i will do a little bit more research on this car and i will probably get you another video with more thorough review of car features this is just overview and mo uh, most importantly uh, the payments let's take a look at the payments and if you guys like this kind of content if you want to uh, know not only about cars but uh, you want to know what the programs are what the best deals are subscribe to my channel like this video and let's go over the payments all right so i got the most interesting part for you guys here the numbers on finance and lease and as i promised it's both uh, cars cheaper car and the car that i was reviewing today so seventy two thousand three hundred sixty dollars discount shown is one thousand dollars but uh, a lot of dealerships will try to sell you these cars for msrp right now and it will quickly change i promise you as the time goes by someone will start to discount them more and then other dealerships will follow them but uh, there is no incentives besides two things the uh, small fleet uh, if you uh, graduated from certain university or you associated with certain employer and there, there are a lot of opportunities to qualify for that 500 dollars discount and small fleet uh, for under business um, if you buy the car under company uh, llc you can get two thousand dollars so uh, that's a nice discount for this car but you can see the monthly payments they don't have any special interest rate and then these um, are the lease payments so not too great looking payments and they don't even include the tax here and registration because that depends on your state and county but uh, you can see the residuals you can see approximately what your payment is and let's look at the cheaper car you can find them in low 60s so this is almost a base car and you can see the uh, finance options right here you can probably get lower interest rate maybe high fives if you find it you know your local credit union um, and you have great credit but here are the lease payments so a little bit lower than the other car and uh, you can see the residuals are over here and that's for 10,000 miles so I hope uh, this was helpful guys and uh, don't forget to click the like button because uh, nobody does this on YouTube and nobody gives you the payment so um, subscribe to my channel.